Hey everyone, check it out. It's the uh, Mini 4 Pro. It is the uh, day of the eclipse. April 8th. And there's the sun. The eclipse already started. I don't know. Let me put my... Uh, I have my eclipse glasses here. I don't know if you can see through them or not. <laughs> no, it's just a reflection. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I want to get this Mini 4 Pro up in the air. Let's see what we can see. All right, so there's the Mini 4. Um, got zero satellites. Wait for my satellites to come in. Updated. All right, so we've got enough satellites. Let's go ahead and take off. Take it about 20 feet. Let's take it up about 20 feet. Go ahead and start recording. We're in 4K 60. So you can see it's starting to get dark. And we're in, uh, you can see I'm in Pittsburgh here. Let me see if I can look up. There's the sun. It is. It is almost fully covered up. Let me check, let me put my glasses on and check it out. Yeah, it's just a sliver left. It's almost total right now. And you can see it's getting kind of dark. I just want to do a quick flight, check things out. It's about five after three. So it should be getting almost completely dark here pretty soon. We're not in the path of totality or anything, so we're not gonna have a complete complete eclipse here I saw a lot of people this morning driving north to get up to go up to Erie I guess they're in the path of totality I think we're gonna get like a 90 percent 98 percent or 96 percent or something like that They had like a solar eclipse uh, ND filter. You wouldn't be able to fly because you can't see crap out of these glasses. The only thing you can see is the shadow of the moon across the sun.
So there it is. The sun. I wish you could actually see it better, but I really can't. Plus, it's cloudy. <clears throat> the street lights are coming on. You can see them there, sort of. In that parking lot I'm standing in. They have a bike path along this river right here. I see a lot of people sitting out. So it's getting close to when it should be almost completely covered here. And you see all the people down in the <laughs> Oops. Put in the spotlight mode there. Zoom back out. Oh. So pretty cool. See, I'm looking at it with my glasses. It's almost completely, completely covered. It's about 95%, I think. And there it is. Like, I don't have any kind of ND filter on this at all, so. I don't think it would really help to see the eclipse. Maybe if I had like a thousand or three thousand ND filter. I don't have any. I just got this drone, so I don't have any, any accessories for it, really. So there's our warehouse. That's Railroad Street right there. And then Smallman Street right there.
It's a beautiful day. It's in the, it says it's in the 70s, 70, 72. Zero wind whatsoever. Yeah, it's almost completely covered now. It's not really that well. It's kind of can't really see it in the uh, the drone camera. It's still pretty light. It's a lot lighter on the camera than it actually is. It's kind of weird. I don't know if that bike trail goes through here. I mean, it looks like there's railroad tracks. It just looks like railroad tracks. Well, that is the bike trail. I think. So yeah, pretty cool. It's like almost completely covered now, so I think it's probably about as much as we're gonna get. <clears throat> it doesn't even look dark on my screen. That's weird. So another excuse just to get out and fly. <laughs> quarter after three now so that's the Allegheny River right there going down to Point Park where it meets the Monongahela and becomes the Ohio the sun with the drone. Wait, put my glasses on.
Yeah, I think that's about as dark as it's gonna. Or, yeah, it's as dark as it's gonna get. It looks like it's starting to brighten up a little bit. Oh well. Go ahead and bring it on back. All right, so there's that mini four. Drop it right there. Go ahead and stop recording. All right, so there it is, guys. The Mini 4 Pro out here with the Great Eclipse of 2024. Anyways, it's Brad from Strike the Drone. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye.